So just waiting for uh, Jesse to pop on with me so we can talk a little mental health stuff. Thank you, Kylie. My paintings are nonsense, but I appreciate that you like them. <laughs> Thank you. You rock. Hey, you rock foundation. Am I connecting to Jesse through you or am I connecting to Jesse through Jesse? try this again. Here we go. Boom. Got it. I'm the one that actually knows what's happening with social media. Hi, Sophie. I'm doing all right. Hi, Jesse. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Glad we figured that out. Yeah, I was saying it wasn't showing me those notifications. And I was like, well, maybe if I look on another page. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Maybe if I had like the 17 social media accounts I had figured out. <laughs> That maybe I could do this. That's just 17 on Facebook. Actually, it's 18 on Facebook that I either manage or help manage. Instagram is three, four, four on Instagram. Okay. Three to seven on Twitter. How is it three to seven? Do you get kicked off some days? And No, so there's okay. Razor, APL, and my own. And then sometimes help with other stations and other people right on the joys, the do, joys. Do, you, do you ever mix them up and you're like check out this really heavy song you know and then all of a sudden it's like it's on apple and it's like uh, they don't listen to manson what's that all about i have definitely tweeted razor posts from the apl twitter account and apl nice. posts from the razor account and i have definitely tweeted razor posts from my own account <laughs> like if you ever see me Tweet, not retweet, but just tweet out about a giveaway. I yeah. accidentally scheduled that for my page instead of Razor's. I will I always retweet Razor's tweets. So these are social media problems, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Getting all this figured out. So first and foremost, dude, how are you? Oh, I'm I'm doing okay. Today's a little bit more jam packed than normal days, but I was like, I'm like, I'm gonna have a good hour before this. To like, kind of like, okay, think about what I'm going to talk about, blah, blah, blah. I was training all day. Then my neighbor shows up. He's like, hey, I got a truck full of dirt I've been promising you for like the last month. Let's unhaul that beast. And I'm like, cool timing, bro. <laughs> so he's like, we're talking comics and music and everything for an hour, which I guess is great. But right. um, so here we are. We're good. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. It's been, uh, I've had a lot of personal stuff happen through this quarantine. Um, I've already talked about it and I'm okay to say these things, but I lost my dad a month ago. Mm -hmm. Um, and then my dog this past weekend. So that mixed in with the changes with broadcasting from home. And that's one of the things that I think really surprised me as far as the broadcasting from home. Um, every single thing, Thing that I do in my day to day takes 10 extra steps. Yeah. So I've had to cut back on other things. And then the way in which I can talk to people has changed. And it's, it's just all different. And it's just going to be mm -hmm. all different. And you know, you're just kind of high from Poland, James, uh, you're just kind of going day by day you know what i mean yeah. so um i love the fact that you were able to join me tonight and i love i'm so excited that the one million mohawk challenge has been yes. reignited this yes. is so fantastic so first let let's start with um just kind of tell everybody who you are and what you do and what the U Rock foundation is and in as as, as long or short as you want to <laughs> yes okay let's start here so hi i'm jesse heffernan um <laughs> i'm a leo like long walks on the beach. <laughs> wrong thing um i had a script so i am what i would say a person in long-term both substance use and mental health recovery for a little over 19 years um i've been on this journey and Throughout that time, I've, I've just been involved with a lot of like local things, grassroots things, like all, all these, I was at, uh, I worked at Harmony Cafe for a while, for those who remember that, but like in the Wisconsin area here, um, I just got involved with, 
you know, a lot of different kind of like, uh, you know, social justice programs and <laughs> substance use recovery and mental health recovery programs. And the thing about, you know, how I got connected with, with Joseph Panola with the UROC Foundation. So we actually had a mutual friend named Amy Bluel. And she was the person who started the the semi colon tattoo movement. Oh, okay. right. So she lived in Green Bay. Not really? a lot of folks knew that. Yeah, she did. Um, something new every day. Yeah. So so she lived there, and I say lived because un unfortunately, uh, four years ago she did uh, complete suicide and die. Um, she struggled a lot, and, and that's one of the things in this field, right, is a lot of times those who struggle the most can give the most, and it's not saying or taking away from anything. It's just that that was the fact of the matter, right? And and I had a chance to work with her for a couple years and and kind of see that whole movement for a little bit, but that's how Joseph and I got connected. And then I saw, like, this You Rock Foundation, and I'm like, I've never heard of this. What's this? And you go on, and, like, the videos are like, Jonathan Davis, you know, um, Randy Blythe, uh, just, you know, it's like 25 videos of yeah. all these, all the musicians I grew up listening to. And like, here's their story about mental health. Here's their story about recovery. Here's their story about like past suicide attempts and getting through that. Here's how music inspires them. And I fell in love instantly with the whole thing, right? Like, it's just really super cool. Um, and so Joseph and I just, you know, really hit it off really quick. We both have a love of comics. Um, that's kind of like that geeky side that really comes out with the two of us a lot. Um, and so, you know, with my own kind of business that, you know, I've been training coaches and, and my wife co-owns and she's been doing her piece. We, we really have kind of like got into this place with, with you rock and then with rise together, of course, you know, Anthony and Nadine doing the amazing work they're doing, like wow. talking to youth around the country about prevention and wellness and self-harm and mental health and all this stuff. Um, it was, let's see, it would have been like February of 2017 ish. Okay. Um, I was on a run and I was like, so little hidden, like, here's like the, the behind the scenes story that I don't tell anybody about why 1 million Mohawks came to be. Okay. I was saving it for this. This is like the first public dish of it. Well, so thank you for the exclusive. Yes. This is going to go viral <laughs> or I'm shooting myself in the foot. One of the two. So I have a younger brother and he was working at like a warehouse at one point or some somewhere during the day. Right. And he comes over and he's just got a Mohawk. I'm like, what's that all about? They just let you have this at work. He's like, yeah, dude, they don't care. So, so maybe, there may have been a teensy part of this was like, how, how can I justify wearing a Mohawk at work? <laughs> And at the time, I was the program director over at the Iris Place, which is a it's a it's a mental health respite. So anyone experiencing mental health, emotional substance use crisis, can go to the or could go to the Iris Place, of course, before the lockdown, and stay there for five days, with no questions asked, if for free. It's like a high end B and B, and and it's just having people there to support you, right? And so I was I was there, and I'm like, there's got to be a way, and so I was on this run. I'm like uh, going through all of it. I'm like, I like a Mohawk challenge. Like how cool would that be? And then the wheels just kept turning. And then I got done with my run and I called Joseph. I'm like, dude, let's do a Mohawk challenge. And then like, I mean, I, it's been a few years since I worked there. And if my old boss sees this, it's fine. I spent so much time on this project <laughs> while I was supposed to be working. Uh, Oops. It was all mental health related. So, it was, dude, it's a movement. totally you're creating a movement that takes yeah. Jesse. And and they're like to the rest of the staff, they weren't obviously as much into like metal and, and punk and everything. They're like, you're gonna do what? Why? What's going on? And so I may or may not have neglected a few duties here and there, <laughs> getting this thing ramped up. And so we got partners on board right away, and then we reached out to Razor and we got Rise Together and we built a website right away. Like, I mean, we put together what would turn out to be the 1 million Mohawks for mental health awareness in like two months, you know, wow. just putting logos, website, social media presence, reaching out to all the musicians that we were going to reach out to, social influencers and all those things. And in uh, eight, May of 2017, we launched our first one. Wow. Oh, wait a second. So 
that was my first year at Razor. Mm -hmm. That was your first year with the Million Mohawk Challenge? It was. Yep. Well, hell yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> it is. It's and it and the like the first year, I mean, we're starting to see it again now. Like we're we we held off on launching it this year uh to to launch it on May the 4th because there's obviously we love Star Wars. And uh no. We're starting to see them trickle in a little bit, right? We're starting to see like one here, one there. The challenges yeah. are starting to happen. They're they're starting to come on board. I did an interview earlier with a, a TV station down in Milwaukee, and they're excited about it. Um, we just got Jose, the metal uh, metal ambassador. Oh, uh, nice! He did a plug for it. So, and okay. then if you saw two, like, and I'm sure you're gonna share it, the video with Head and his daughter. Oh my God, dude. Yes. Like I, I saw, so I've had, so I had like, I got off air with Cutter for the three way, like 320 ish. And yeah. then I went on with Haley on our sister station, the news talk station, WHBY at 440 for an interview with her about yeah. what Razor does with mental health. So I had that like hour and a half break in between. And then at yeah. five o'clock I had an interview with Lee Kakady from Pop Evil and then got done with that and I'm here talking to you. So like I had this hour and a half chunk of time and I was gonna like write this whole story for the website. And I was like, you know what? I need to eat my, I need to mental health. I need to boundary myself. Yes, yes. I watched the video. I said, I'm gonna eat my dinner. I'm gonna chill for an hour. I'm gonna come back to my work stuff. This can wait until tomorrow morning. It will be okay. <laughs> but <laughs> I know that it is up on y'all's YouTube channel yes. and up on yeah your social channels. So please, where can they find you on Facebook? They can find uh, You Rock Foundation on Facebook. You can find Rise Together, Helios Recovery, all on Facebook. You Rock has, has posted the the brand new video with Head from Corn and his daughter. And just have a box of tissues ready. Um, I mean, it's powerful. You know, like if you've seen any of the stuff, I know he's done documentaries and he's talked about it, like check it out. It's really awesome. It's, it, I think it's, you know, again, like what, just a, a super powerful video and the crew behind it, the crew that's supporting you rock foundation and doing these things like just, just, just masters at it, you know? And so he goes through his whole story and his daughter shares too, what it's yeah. like being, you know, and, and she was part of the catalyst why he even quit corn mm -hmm. and, you know, and went and did his own thing for a little bit. So it's a really amazing video. Please check it out. Yeah, and props to you for taking care of your mental, like way to be a role model for Dude, mental health. Lots yeah. of lessons have been learned. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's funny because my journey with recovery and, and dealing with uh, my trauma, I, I had a lot of childhood trauma, um, which some people know, some people don't know, some people know the details. I'm not shy about talking about it, but I'm not gonna get into details right now. Um, but I had a lot of childhood trauma and because of the way my life has been, you know, I've been working since I was 12, 13, two, three jobs. You're working, you know, a 14 hour day is a light day. You know, you're working 14 hour days, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Next thing you know, 20 years has passed by and all of a sudden you have time. You know, I moved to Wisconsin and I started working for a company that genuinely cares about the people that work here and really focus on having a work-life balance and taking care of yourself. And I'd never experienced that before. Um, and in coming to Wisconsin and all of a sudden I'm working one job instead of two and I can pay my bills and I can buy actual groceries. And now I have like a weekend, like I have a weekend. Like what, having a day off, let alone two days yeah. in a row and like two weekends in a row, like I don't know what to do with that. And that was the thing is like, all of a sudden I'm going, I don't, I don't understand what day to day life is because I have survived through trauma. Like that's what mm -hmm. my, my life has been surviving through trauma. And once I recognize that, and once I recognize that my survival skills were not, and I think I saw a quote or something that was like, the skills you learned while trying to survive will not serve you while trying to thrive or something yeah. along those lines. Yeah. And it was in that moment that I went, well, shit, okay, I guess, 
I guess I got to start working through some of this stuff, you know, because <laughs> uh, it's starting to start, in places. Yeah. And, um, it's been a really incredible three-year journey that I have been so blessed and so thankful to through my own recovery and my own journey in healing and learning more about my mental illnesses that I have been blessed with the opportunity to be involved with so many incredible causes, um, mm -hmm. which has allowed me to take away some of those stigmas and fears and things that I've been nervous about. Um, and me making a promise to myself to be 100% open and honest with everybody. And like, you're, this is what, what you see is what you get. Like you're not, mm -hmm. there's no, <laughs> there's no behind the mask with me. Like yeah. the cluster that I am is the cluster that I am. Welcome. Um, Fair enough. <laughs> able to use this as a way to heal and grow and the three years of being here and all the stuff we've done with mental health have really just been a selfish way of me to cup recover <laughs> that's a great that's a great uh, thing hold on one second i'm gonna have you follow me for a second i okay. gotta close the door you're gonna see like the speaking of like behind the scenes you're gonna see that my brick wall is not actually a brick wall it's like a Oh, I dig it. I was going to be like, where are you? That's amazing. And here you've got a screen. Oh, you little, you devil, you. <laughs> so uh, tell me about the 1 million Mohawk challenge. How can people participate? What exactly is, is the meaning of it? So, so part of it, like I, I um, is that's really important this year is like thinking like, you know, there, there's this idea like one out of five or one out of four people struggle with mental health. And, and like, and, and the idea behind that is really othering, right? It's really like there's there's them and then there's us kind of a thing. And I think one, it's about like kind of busting some of that down. Like, you know what, like stress, trauma, all these things are our mental health. We all, have, we all have mental health to take care of, right? Um, it just, it comes out in different forms for different people in different ways, right? And it, and like you said, like, and I can totally relate to like using different things to mask the trauma, to repress the trauma, to hide from that stuff. You know, mine was substances. Mine was like getting in as much trouble as humanly possible here in the Fox Valley um, and doing those kind of things. Um, but it, it's about realizing like, you know, we're all, it's not, it's not one in five, it's five in five. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's a great campaign that we're co-launching with. Um, and you can see it on the One Million Mohawks website. Um, they use this thing. It's they, they make this gesture okay. and they say same here. It's the sign for same here. Oh. Right. And so it's about five and five. And um, so talking with them and just being like, yeah, we got to first kind of blow that out of the water and say, like, we're all impacted. Right. Either it be through our own stuff or a family member or a friend or something like that. Like we're all. There, there's more connection than there is non-connection in all of this. Like that's, that's one of the big pieces. And so that said, the idea is then, well, if we could all do something that shows that we're connected, that it'll give the invitation and opportunity for more, more people to speak out. Well, let's do that. And, and what was more fitting for like the metal rock punk community than to go with Mohawks. Right? So the invitation is to shave in style, spike up, die, whatever you can do uh one year josh ran from stone sour he had like this it was like the top of a gladiator helmet and he just <laughs> he just stuck it on his bald head you know just, when i came in a couple of years ago and talked to rick and len they yeah. like bought fake feather mohawks and they just wore them in the studio um so th so it's about the, the creativity that people come up with is amazing right but it's about the image it's about like here it is i, I made a commitment to at least do this so so do one of those things, post it on social media, share why mental health matters to you. And that could be from your own story. It could be from the story of a loved one. It could just be like, you know what? I've seen so many people struggle. We know how hard music community has been hit. You know, when we did this uh, a few years ago and, you know, we lost Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell and, and just, you know, the list goes on with musicians and the people that we think have the, like, the most access to help 
and and yet they still come to this place where you know that was the thing that they chose to do um so we want everyone to see visually that we're all a part of the same thing and we've seen other campaigns too um you know there's like the 320 festival that's coming up this mm -hmm. weekend and like you know use like saying like you know i am the change and people writing it on their hand they're all great things but this is you know of course a chance dye up the hair post on social media why it matters to you and then here's the fun part is challenge up to six other people organizations bands to do the same right so we want some of that ils bucket challenge aspect to this right <laughs> but people we we're we're, we're kind of going in on like the uh the peer pressure aspect here a little bit yeah feel free to pass if you wish but challenge six other people nominate them to do this as well you know like and that's how we spread this that's how we show like in this time of physical distance we can still be socially connected we can still show our support for each other. We can still have that, you know, you use the 1 million Mohawks or 1 million Mohawks hashtag yeah. and then see that thing go viral and see that people are doing it and see that people care and they want to do those things. Oh, there's, I got to turn it. All the notifications are popping up on I the know. top. Every time I try to do that, it just swipes them away. <laughs> it, it, it flips me into the wrong place. Um, no, I love that, man. Uh, Reggie, our morning guy, Reggie, he mm -hmm. has done a mohawk, and he did one for did. his mustache. So he and he was about to do a third one. I love it. Dude, he's great, man. <laughs> he's He's been having so much fun with doing so many cool things. And uh, he, he really, I reached out to him, and I was like, hey, so would you be down? And he was like, yeah, sure. When totally. do you want me to have a video to you by? Thanks, Hobie. So, that's great. Uh, so that's coming, and I know Cutter's going to be doing something. I'm not sure if he's going to yeah. actually cut it and do the because he's really liking the long hair right now. So I'm not yeah. sure if he's actually going to cut it or if he's going to do I've the seen, updo. I'm doing. I've seen updo. some like you're going to do the updo. Yeah, but I've I seen some. You're like I got. I mean, I can up some. I would dude, be. You know, like yeah. I can. I would be a do. killer. Huge yeah. heart. So I'm that. not really like a fancy kind of girl that can do things like with my hair. I mean, <laughs> last night I put my hair in a French braid, which I was surprised I could do. And then I took it out today. That's how it's styled. Nice. <laughs> so, uh -huh. you know, I'm, I'm sure that my um, mohawking skills are not going to be very solid, but I'm going to try it anyway. Because why the hell not? It's fun. I was... This morning I was talking to my kids. I was like, you could just draw in like on a cardboard piece of paper and then just like put it on there and have that too, right? right? You know, like all things are optional, you know? If I had real balls, I would shave it into a mohawk. I can't tell you how many times I've thought about just shaving all of my hair off and just being like, not bald, bald, but like, yeah. you know, a two or something or like a three a and just being, I know the level. Yeah, be like, screw you know? it, man. I'm just done. Yeah. Um, but then what always what always trips me up is that like, well, when it gets to here, and I have curly hair, when, I can't. you either got to commit to keep shaving, or get through like the awkward phase. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah, and the awkward phase takes a while. And I really like my long bush of crap. So. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll get the balls and I'll just go dra grab some clippers on my next uh, Target run or my next Walmart run and just do a real no-hop. You've got, you've got uh, let's see, 25 days in May to think about it. But the, the big thing for me is if, if some of the folks at Razor do it or, or at Woodward, who are you going to challenge? Are you going to just challenge folks like internally or are you going to find some other oh, radio I got people all over the do you know I know somebody in every single state I got you yes <laughs> I'm that's the like, idea let me hit all the corners I'm going to challenge somebody in Florida I've got yes. a friend in Maine or New York State Maine probably won't do it New York State well so I'll challenge <laughs> them I've got and I've got right outside of uh Portland Oregon I can challenge Portland weird. And I've definitely got some Southern California I can challenge. And I got some Texas. I, could, I got nice. to nice. rock all this. That's the thing. I'll just challenge somebody in every state. and That's what we do. Yeah. Happen. And that's the fun part of this is like, like I see people like 
they'll challenge friends and then they'll throw in like three of their favorite musicians be like will will Corey taylor ever look at my instagram feed probably not but i feel cool knowing like hey i'm a part of something right like that was like the whole thing of this is like bring it to people and so it's as much of a grassroots viral piece as it is like yeah some musicians are going to take it but really like there are people just like us everyday folks struggle with stuff they need haircuts they're probably getting bored <laughs> let's hope they get a haircut mohawk style <laughs> and you can do a mohawk easily at home you don't yeah. have to go someplace so you can just get some clippers do the mohawk and then then when everything's open back up you just shave it all off and you're good or you can I did this style on, it straight up. Did this on Sunday, and then I spent like 20 minutes with like half a bottle of product to make it somewhat of a semblance. That I is I dig it. I think it looks yeah. badass on you. I like the look. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thank my you. god, man! I love so much of uh, just everything that you are about. You have been one of my favorite people that I've met since moving to Wisconsin. And I know that we don't get to see each other as often as I think we both would like, or even talk to each other as often as I think we both would like. I just, I love the fact that you, your, your passion for helping people is so wonderful and it always warms my heart. And whenever I'm having one of those days that I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> I'll see something from you and I'm just like, all right, I got this man. Jesse can do it. I can do it too. And that's <laughs> like, but you know, I mean, I say it playfully, if can, but seriously. If you can trudge through it. Yeah. And that's what I, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. And, and, you know, truth be told, like days of depression still hit me. It's still a gold star just getting out of bed, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, and it's days of anxiety right where it's you know the, the the things of like what are people thinking what am i thinking what's going on here like like you know there there's no amount of validation or affirmation externally that's going to change the tapes sometimes you know and that's when i agree like it's it's so cool seeing the stuff you're doing and it's just like there's someone taking it to your job helping other people setting up that whole page like like right back at you i think you're an amazing mirror of like just like you know, I, I see the same thing with all the awesome stuff that you're doing and helping people. And, and this is what it's about, you know, like, you know, this is what community is. This is what helping people is like, it's not egos and pissing contests. It's like, we've got a lane, we've got a passion, we've got the ability to connect and help with other people. And we just do what we can. We yeah. find that Venn diagram spot where it's like, <laughs> that's where I can do things. Like, here's all my crazy people. Hey, crazy. <laughs> I'm here with you. <laughs> we get hashtags now and we get our own space. I feel so, hey, all of you with piercings and weird color hair that will listen to really loud music and like to get stabbed with colorful needles. Here I am. It's a fun little place that we can all just kind of. It is. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's It's been um such a cool experience to watch this grow is especially not just in the rock community because i feel like it's really grown in the rock community in particular yes. but here yeah. in northeast wisconsin has been just such an incredible experience to see mm -hmm. how much the community has really just reached out to help each other and also mm -hmm. to really work on themselves um, and I think that's incredible. And I, I like seeing that we get to be a part of that and, and help talk about it and facilitate that conversation or at least create the space for that conversation. So I'm glad yes. that you came in and talked mental health today. Let me ask, uh, before I let you go, and of course, I'm going to let, I want you to run through um, where people can get information. Uh, mm -hmm. But what has been one of the key things for you during this time that has helped yeah. your your brain space stay somewhat level? Because right now to say that it's level is a lie. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I walked into this thinking like my, my normal anxiety levels like are a three to five. Mm -hmm. And now they're just like seven, always. <laughs> it's just there. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there's like nothing tangible, it's like, you know, you're doing the right thing because nothing's happening. And 
So, so the, I would say like, there's a few things. One is, you know, I've got, you know, I've got people to connect with, right? Like no matter what the crap show is, I don't know if we can swear on here. Yeah. So, Shit. um, Go ahead. no matter, I'm like, is this Disney or is this, okay. No matter what the shit show is, like there's someone like you just be able to talk about it with, you know, and not, not get like, you know, judged for it in a sense. So, so I've got, you know, therapy. I still, you know, see a therapist. Uh, I've got support groups that I still connect with. I'm so glad. I think the folks in recovery community, um, I've just seen such an amazing adaptation to this time, like the thousands of online recovery support meetings. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there's this website in the, in the rooms.com. They've got 130 online meetings and that just blew up. Um, Go ahead, write that down. yeah, it's amazing. Like they've, they've been doing it for a lot of years, but I, I was talking to the guys running it, Kenny P and RT and like, they've gone from like half a million people to like probably reaching 750,000 ish wow. by now. Like, and, and so there's just like this really cool adaptation. Um, and so, Online meetings have been great just to be able to see folks that I normally see. Um, therapy, um, man, my Spotify account, like if it were a CD or a tape, it would be worn out by now. I'm so glad I don't have to clean those things. So remember that people that have the ability to do it right now and buy merch and support your favorite bands because we buy, merch, buy music and them. they are yeah. not touring right now. Yes. They, that is their income. Like buy merch and support them. them. Buy merch. Yes, definitely. Buy merch. Support buy merch, the Music support. Cares COVID Relief Foundation also for roadies and tour managers and all those people. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. It's great. No, that's that's awesome. I mean, you know, again, like we, we talk so much about how music helps and everything. Like quick side story. Um, I had this tape of Taproot um, Welcome, their second one with poem on it. Wow. And yeah, so I mean, like, and this was like 2001. Yeah. It was like maybe one of the worst times in my recovery, just a lot of shit happening. And I would play that thing and flip it in my little in my Ford Tempo. And just and like, it's like, it's it's worn out, you know, yeah. like, and it just shows, you know, like how much reliance there is on, on music and connection and stuff like that. So, um, so I think those are a lot of the big things. And then the other thing too, I would say, like, I know we want to be in a spot where we check in on our friends and we, we reach out to people and a lot of people are being encouraged to do that. Like, make sure you check on your friend and like, this is extrovert hell. Like, I want to be out there connecting with people and be at coffee shops. But, but I'd invite you first, like check in inside, you know, we talked about like the internal work, yeah. you know, like I can't, I can't do this work. I can't train coaches and, 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 and run media campaigns and, and do all this stuff. If I'm not doing the work in and here and in here first, mm -hmm. right? Like this has got to be the priority and it's not saying it's got to be at a hundred percent, but just, just take the time, you know, to check in. Like, how am I doing? I call it like a pies check in. How am I doing physically, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually? Right. And, and if those are good, then yeah, like check in on people, hold space for people, mm -hmm. see what they mean kind of a thing. Um, and then again, that's how we, that's how we continue to work with each other. Yeah, dude, there's been a couple of times cause through all of this work has actually become more hectic. Um, and so much of my job is being done on my phone. Like, cause I do a lot of, you know, video editing and all of that. And a lot of that is being done on my phone right now. So there's large chunks of time where my phone is just sitting and uploading or downloading or saving something. Um, and because my brain space is being used in such a different way, when I finish up work at the end of the day and I've got five or six text messages to respond to, like, or I go into my inboxes on social media and I'm like, oh my God, I have 10 messages here and 40 messages here and 30 messages. I like, I can't do it. Like, ah, yeah. and I just yeah. throw everything down and go, no, no more. Yeah. I'm going to emotionally eat and watch Netflix right now. And that's what I can handle. Yes. Give me the cake. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah. Right? Let's, let's, let's be honest about that shit. Whatever. Right. Yeah. It's okay to say no. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to deal with this in, in what looks, you know, healthy and good for you. Right. Like, you know, that's what's important. That's what I, it's almost like sometimes folks need like, can I, can yeah. I just watch? Yeah, do it, you know? 
we feel so guilty about things, you know, like I was doing really, really well. And I was really working on my health and taking care of myself. And I'd lost like 25 pounds. And I was like, yeah, this is feeling great. And I've gained like 10 of it back since being in quarantine. And at first I was really Same here, right. And at first I was angry with myself. And it wasn't about the weight that I was angry about, like, whatever, I don't care. It was about the progress that I had eliminated. You know what I mean? That I'd worked so hard to get to this point and then I backtracked. Uh, and that was the part that I was getting really frustrated with myself and feeling really guilty about. And then finally, at some point, I just went, really? Really? You know, you have no idea what's happening. If Don't do it every day, but like one day you might run four miles and the next day mm -hmm. you might eat an entire bag of cookies. Who cares? Who cares? Dude, I have mm -hmm. a piece of chocolate cake that I bought that is waiting for me that is, I am diving into tonight. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I went to All Seasons Cafe today because they're opening up with drive through and they have these little cinnamon things that you dip in dark chocolate. I may have saved one of the dark chocolates just to eat. I don't know. I'm I mean, not telling. You know, I'm not upset about it. So I think I'm not hiding it. things that we all just kind of have to... Yes. recognize it and also not just recognize it about ourselves but recognize that everybody's going through something yes. that they've never been through before and people right. that like we are used to dealing with our mental illnesses we understand what we've got going on right. there are people that are dealing with anxiety that have never experienced anxiety brand new are yeah. dealing with depression and it's a brand new thing to them so for those of us who do understand it I think this is where it's really important for us to encourage those people to reach out and, and, and give them the resources because they don't even know where to look because they've never experienced it. Yeah. They don't have yeah. a name to put to this feeling that mm -hmm. they have right now. And right. this is where we can say, you know, when I describe my anxiety and you don't understand what I'm talking about, but this is kind of how I feel. Is that how you feel? And all of mm -hmm. a sudden you're going to get mm -hmm. the, oh, Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. You, you might want to, why don't you call this helpline or check out this website yeah. or text this text line. Um, and you can get all those resources at razorwisconsin.com slash mental health. We've got all of them listed. Um, where can people go to get everything? You Rock Foundation, Rise Together, Helios, Jesse, everything. Well, as a matter of fact. <laughs> With those long walks on the beach. <laughs> For the low cost of nineteen ninety five, you too can sign up for my easy no hassle program. Premium. Premium. I want the premium subscription. I was thinking, side note, because I'm really easily distracted. I'm like, how much fun would it be just to do videos every day of people watching me learn how to play guitar and how horrible I am at it? Dude, can you and Cutter make that happen, please? Like he can teach you and you can just suck at it. Nope, nope, I gotta start over. <laughs> nope, 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 hold on. Nope, that's not it. Just like a half hour of that. Then you will know anxiety. Yeah. Um, Thank you, so, God of Vinci. Is that how you say that? God of Vinci. Thank you. That's awesome. He said that uh, he talked to someone today about nice. not knowing about anxiety and sent them to Razor's sites. That's awesome. Thank you. Look, Glad I can scroll you. through all the things. Yeah. yeah. You Hi, just can't everybody. get rid of them. I've tried to swipe them away before, but it, it ends up cutting off my camera feed. So I'm like, Do you want to swipe right on that many people? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's how this works. Um, so, <laughs> like, all of a sudden, 50 people, 1millionmohawks.com is the place to go. And on there, you will see um, what's going on. You will see the video that Joseph made a couple of years ago explaining what the challenge is. You'll see him get his haircut. You'll see how to participate. You will see the pledge. So there's, like, a pledge aspect to this, too. Pledge to be a symbol of strength. Pledge to call out the criticism that destroys our community. Pledge to proudly walk with others seeking help. And that's exactly what we just saw in the feed there, right? Like I sent someone to your site. I talked to them. I held space with them. I said, check this out, right? Um, so that's the pledge. That's what we do. We spike the Mohawk, take a pledge. Um, you'll see some of the stuff on Instagram. You'll see the team. You'll see that I don't know how to run a Squarespace site really well. So one of our team members is like missing their whole bio. Sorry, Mario. Um, <laughs> He's just like there, like, <laughs> this is a random guy. Um, you'll see all of our partners. So, of course, like, same here. You'll see Razor Wisconsin. Yeah. You'll see the 
use this project, you'll see Bound by Blood, Dayton Recovers, um, American Association of Suicidology, Kevin Hines Foundation just signed on. If you don't know who Kevin Hines is, he's the guy that uh, jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge and survived. That dude is a machine when it comes to speaking. Like, he'll go and talk, like, 350 times a year. Like, he's just everywhere. And now he's at home just kind of chilling. You'll see also, like, maybe some outdated sized banners for, like, social media. <laughs> they still kind of fit. Um, but we've got, like, Twitter banners, Facebook banners, um, profile things, all the things like that. You can get something that says challenge accepted. Like, if you want to hold up a piece of paper, like, boom, challenge accepted. I did this. So, again... You know, take the time, spike up, shave in, style up, dye in, find something offline to, to show that you got a mohawk, that you're rocking something. Post it online with your story, why mental health matters to you. Challenge six other people, right? Show that this is a connected social community of people supporting each other, talking about their mental health, talking about recovery. And uh, let's do that for the whole month. I love it. I absolutely love it. Jesse, thank you so much for, for popping on and, and talking to me and everybody for joining in today. Appreciate it. Uh, I will have this, we will have this live for the next 24 hours on Instagram and then we'll get it up on our website and YouTube channel and all of that stuff at Razor Wisconsin. Uh, of course, you can find out all the information and everything at Razor Wisconsin slash mental health as well. And I'll make mm -hmm. sure to get some of those extra videos up tomorrow uh, morning as I eat my cake and relax for the rest of the evening uh, tomorrow morning. I'll get that stuff. Nice. Up. Yes. Take care of yourself. That's awesome. You too, man. Thank you so much, Jesse. All the love, dude. All right. Thank you. See you later. Have a good one, babe. How did the kids stop? Thank you all for joining in. Uh, God of Vinci, I appreciate you being able to reach out and uh, help people and um, share resources and so forth. Know that, you know, we're always here with you guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you guys have a great night. Kylie, I see you. Love you all.